You have created a beautiful WordPress site on SiteGround, which is uh, one of the hosting companies available to create your site. And you want to offload your visual assets, your images to Amazon S3 using, for instance, a plugin like Media Cloud. That's a very good idea. But you also want to have a pretty URL for uh, your uh, uh, images. So you don't want the long uh, URL of, uh, of an Amazon bucket, which looks like this. Uh, including the Amazon uh, AWS.com uh, domain. You want your own uh, domain name in the URL, like uh, assets.yourdomain.com. And uh, you also want to have these images um, displayed using HTTPS, uh, a secure connection. You have two options. Uh, the default option, which will be suggested by uh, the plugin and, uh, and by uh, other bloggers uh, on the internet, is to use uh, Amazon CloudFront, which is the CDN provided by Amazon. They will provision a free HTTPS certificate via Amazon. But this solution will end up costing quite a lot of money. Even with a small site uh, with less than 1,000 uh, unique visitors a day, you might end up paying more than $30 a month just for the Amazon S3 part uh, of your expenses. So not uh, taking into account the side ground expenses. There is another option and it's free. It is to uh, use uh, the CDN uh, capabilities of Cloudflare. And this is what we will uh, um, that what we will do in this uh, tutorial. You could tell me that it's possible to activate Cloudflare directly from SiteGround. So if you go uh, in your site tools for your domain, in the sidebar, you will find uh, under speed the option to connect your site to Cloudflare. But there are two issues. The first one, which uh, I highlighted here, is the fact that in the SSL settings of Cloudflare, you will have to set the option to full strict. That's the first problem. And we will see uh, in a moment why this is an issue. The second one is that if you want all your sites uh, to be um, uh, to be, uh, I would say, uh, proxied through uh, uh, Cloudflare, it will have to work uh, to be accessed through uh, the three W options. So www.yourdomain.com. If you have created your website on the root domain, if it's by default accessed through yourdomain.com without the three W, it means that uh, all the URLs which are already indexed uh, in Google, and they, there can be hundreds or thousands of them, will be uh, gradually redirected to the 3W. But there might be uh, uh, access uh, issues uh, in the meantime. So that can be a potential issue for, for SEO. So I would not uh, recommend it. And let me give you a spoiler of the dilemma that we will face. So this is the Cloudflare um, SSL TLS uh, panel where you can set the options of your um, SSL TLS encryption mode. And as you can see, you have four options. If you want uh, an Amazon S3 bucket to be accessible via Cloudflare, this has to be set on flexible, the one which is uh, on at the moment. But as you saw in my previous screen, if you want, um, if you want um, SiteGround uh, to use the CDN uh, to access the main domain, the root domain, yourdomain.com, then you have to set this to full strict. If you set this to uh, full strict, 
what will happen is that you won't be able to access uh, the uh, the images uh, in your subdomain where uh, you have put all your images um, on in an Amazon S3 bucket. You will end up with an error uh, 502, uh, as we can see here uh, on the screen. But if you set uh, the the options, uh, the settings uh, on flexible. What will happen is that uh, you will um, uh, you will have a, a blank page. Uh, if you would try to access your main domain, the root domain, you will have this type of error. The page isn't working. There are too many uh, redirects. So you, you can't uh, just uh, set um, your website uh, through uh, the default uh, uh, the default implementation of Cloudflare, you need uh, something more, um, uh, I would say, uh, creative to uh, to make it work. So how do we solve this uh, dilemma? How do we solve uh, this, uh, this issue? Uh, the fact that if we set uh, uh, the, the SSL uh, encryption mode to flexible, we will end up with the main site not working and if we set them to full strict, to full strict, the images uh, won't work. Good news, I found uh, a good workaround and I will guide you through all the steps uh, to, uh, to make it work. So we will start by creating a bucket on Amazon S3. Uh, then we will come back to the admin of WordPress and the plugin Media Cloud to make sure that all the settings uh, are correct. And we will move to uh, Cloudflare uh, to uh, to proxy only only the access uh, to uh, the subdomain, the C name, which is handling uh, the uh, Amazon bucket. Let's do it step by step. So the first step is to go to Amazon S3. So you need an Amazon account, obviously, and you have to create a bucket. It's important that the name of your bucket is uh, the the URL path um, that will be the access to uh, the images. So here it will be assets.yourdomain.com in my example. If your domain is called uh, recipes.com, it's assets.recipes.com. You can also put image, uh, E-I-M-G for image or images or whatever. But this is the structure uh, of your uh, of your URL and the structure, the name of your uh, of your bucket. You also have to um, untick uh, this uh, option when you create your bucket so that uh, your bucket becomes publicly uh, accessible. Then when you have created your bucket, uh, you go to the properties of the bucket and you scroll down till the end. You want to edit the website uh, hosting settings of this uh, bucket and enable uh, static website hosting. Then you scroll down a bit and you will have to type in index.html in the index uh, document field. And uh, you will end up with a URL like this for your bucket. So you see I've got the name of my bucket. Uh, in uh, the beginning, assets.yourdomain.com, and it's followed by this URL, which depends on the zone that you have chosen uh, for your bucket uh, in the uh, in the Amazon settings. And as you can see, it's HTTP, but it will be accessed via HTTPS thanks to uh, Cloudflare. Then let's go back to uh, WordPress the admin of WordPress, so slash wp-admin, uh, and you go to the settings of your Media Cloud plugin. Uh, if you haven't downloaded and installed and activated the plugin, I will give you uh, in the description below the link for this plugin, which I'm using for a few sites. It's important to set the bucket name to the uh, access path that, that corresponds to the name of your bucket uh, in uh, in Amazon S3, as you can see here. So that's the name of the bucket that we have in the previous screen. It has to be uh, public. 
And uh, I would advise to set uh, an upload path which corresponds to uh, um, to the usual upload path of WordPress. Uh, this one, so that uh, you will end up uh, with the same access path via Amazon S3 as you would have had uh, by just hosting uh, your your images on SiteGround. And you can also set to one year uh, the the cache control of the images when they are uploaded to uh, to S3. Then we go to Cloudflare. So you go to cloudflare.com. You don't have any site there yet. You have to add a site. First, uh, you have to choose a plan. So you scroll down and you choose the free plan. You've got three um, paid options, but you don't need the paid options. You go to the free uh, option. And what uh, Cloudflare will do first is retrieve the DNS uh, zone of your domain. And by default, uh, among all uh, the lines that you will get on your screen, you will see that your um, main domain, the root domain, will be by default proxied with this uh, ORNG uh, cloud of, uh, of Cloudflare. And as Cloudflare tells you, uh, the orange cloud means proxied, which means that the traffic will go through Cloudflare. Whereas if you have the gray, um, the gray cloud, uh, it will bypass Cloudflare and uh, basically stay the same as it, uh, as it was before. So what you want to do for your main domain, if you want uh, this configuration to work with SiteGround, is click on the little orangey cloud to switch it to gray to DNS uh, only. And then you want to add a, a record for your C name to access uh, the Amazon S3 bucket where you have your assets, so where you have your, your images. So the name of the C name will be assets. In my example, it could be IMG, it could be images, it could be whatever you want, depending on what you have set before. And you just uh, type in uh, the URL that you got when you created uh, your Amazon S3 bucket and when you uh, set the static website settings to uh, enabled. That's the URL that we saw uh, a few screens uh, a few screens ago. So you will end up with a DNS zone like this one. Um, as you can see, I have disabled the proxy for my main domain and the only orangey option proxied via a Cloudflare is the one accessing uh, my Amazon S3 bucket via the subdomain assets. And then you just uh, click on continue in Cloudflare and they will give you two name servers. You have to replace your um, default name servers, which if you have bought the domain via uh, SiteGround, which be on SiteGround, so you follow, uh, you follow the, um, the instructions to change the name servers and set them to Cloudflare, as shown on the screen. If your domain was originally bought uh, through another uh, uh, registrar like Gandhi, for instance, you will have to change uh, your name servers there where your domain was uh, originally purchased. But imagine that everything is on SiteGround, so you bought the domain via SiteGround, you host your website via SiteGround, you have to change your name servers there. And then on Cloudflare, you have to make sure in the SSL TLS settings, you will uh, find them in the, in the top bar of uh, Cloudflare that you have set uh, the encryption mode to flexible to access uh, the Amazon S3 bucket. You can also go to Scrape Shield, which is another option in the top bar of uh, Cloudflare, and enable the Hotlink protection. That's pretty handy if you have a, a, an image-rich website so that uh, people can just uh, hotlink hot uh, to your images, which will use bandwidth uh, from your, your Amazon plan. So you can enable this hot link uh, protection. Then you have to go back to SiteGround. If you haven't 
done it if you haven't done it before i mean uh, usually when you create a website you will enable the https uh, uh, via uh, here uh, side ground so you go to your uh, security section in the sidebar ssl manager you will have a drop down with your domain and you choose let's encrypt to generate uh, your ssl certificate it takes a few minutes uh, usually to do it and then you have to go uh, to uh, the HTTP enforce uh, part uh, of the security uh, section and enable uh, enforce the HTTPS uh, connection. So this will be the SSL certificate for your main site, for your main website, not the SSL certificate for your images, for your visual assets, which will be taken care of by uh, Cloudflare. But it's important that your main site uh, is also secured through uh, SSL. Otherwise, uh, there will be warnings for uh, your visitors telling them that uh, the website uh, isn't secure. So, after doing all of this, you will have your WordPress site on site ground secured through uh, the Let's Encrypt certificate uh, on site ground, and you will have your images accessible uh, on S3 through Cloudflare. After a few hours when everything will be propagated, the way you can check that everything is as expected is by accessing your site and clicking on the little padlock in the browser's address bar uh, at the top uh, of your browser. And then you click on certificate. If you are on your main domain, so on the side, on the home page, you will see uh, a certificate issued by R3 here, uh, which will be valid. Uh, and if you open one of your images in a, in a separate tab, so you, you right click on the images and you open it in a separate tab, you also click on the padlock and you click on certificate, you will see that uh, each image will have uh, a certificate issued by, by Cloudflare. So that, that's the way to just check that everything went smoothly and that, uh, that you're good to go. So I hope that you understood the reason why I did it this way. It was to solve this dilemma uh, between the flexible encryption mode which works for S3 but doesn't work for SiteGround and a full strict mode which works for side ground but doesn't work for S3. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will leave a few uh, a few links uh, in the comment below.